Today we're decorating a fun 80s t-shirt and making some iron-on labels with Caesars Easy Color DTV. The DTV in Caesar Easy Color DTV stands for Direct to Vinyl. So this is a vinyl sheet that I can run through my inkjet printer and then cut out and apply to my garment. So I'll have a link to my website in the description below. There is a really detailed uh, FAQ uh, post where it has all the information about you know where to get the Caesar Easy Color DTV, uh, how to cut it, how to weed it, how to apply it, what kind of fabric you can put it on, how to iron it on, how to heat press it on, how to wash it, um, all sorts of uh, stuff that might answer any questions you might have that I didn't answer here today. I have some projects planned with my silhouette and heat press, but today we're going to keep it really simple. So we just need a sheet of the Caesar Easy Color DTV, a pair of scissors, some parchment paper, an iron, and an inkjet printer. Let's get started. Since we're using designs that have pretty simple outlines, we can cut these out by hand. We will use much more intricate designs and then cut them on the silhouette in a different video. Go ahead and open your preferred graphics software. I'm using Silhouette Studio. I have Business Edition, but you could do this on any edition of the Silhouette software. As long as you can open the file, uh, then you can use it. Some other software that you can use would be Paint, uh, Paintbrush, Inkscape, Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, or even Cricut Design Space, whichever one you feel comfortable in. All you have to do is be able to open your image and send it to your printer. It's important to note that the Caesar Easy Color DTV, you print directly on the sheet just like you would read it. We are not going to flip it or mirror it um, because we're going to peel off the top layer of the vinyl and then place it on the shirt and then press it. So it doesn't matter if we're doing colors, um, light colored shirts or dark colored shirts, it all works the same. And you can use this on dark colors or light colors. So we're going to set up our page size. The sheets of the Caesar Easy Color are 8.4 inches by 11. So I have my width here set to 8.4 and I have the height set to 11. So my page is ready to go. And then you can use um, pretty much anything that you could print. Um, so you could use photos, text, graphics. Files that are called sublimation files are really good for this because they're high quality PNGs. Um, or you can create your own. So today, in order to use more of the sheet, we're going to do two projects. So we're going to create a t-shirt using this like totally 80s design. And then I've created a bunch of labels here. So these are examples of different labels you could use um, for labeling things. This is a Made with Love by Grandma. Maybe you have family or somebody who's in like an assisted living or college or somewhere where they need to identify their clothing. You can create labels with their name and room number. Maybe you make your own clothing and you need uh, labels so you can put your brand and then small, medium, large, or other information. Or these, I just have my logo, so I'll cut out some of these and then uh, I can iron them on um, products that I make. If I needed more, I probably could put more things over here. It's just always a good idea to use up as much of the material as you can so that you don't waste it. Okay, so we have our page size set up. We have our designs placed where we want them. We can go ahead and get the printer set up. We want to make sure that it's set to the correct size also and that our easy color DTV sheets are loaded in properly. Uh, so we'll go do that and then we'll come back and set it up here to print. I haven't tried printing multiple sheets at one time yet and since I'm just doing one I'm just going to put the one sheet in uh, to do at a time. I don't want to risk uh, jamming or pulling in multiple sheets at once for this, this test. If this is your first time printing a design onto the Caesar Easy Color, it's a good idea to print it out on a piece of paper first just to see how the colors are and to make sure everything's within your borders. Um, so I've already done that. So now we're going to load this into my printer. So this is just a Canon PIXMA inkjet printer and it only prints up to letter size so that's okay. And then this gray side is the back and the white is the front. So when you open your paper tray It should indicate somewhere in here what side goes up, and so if it has the lines on it, then that's that's the front side. So this is telling me to put it front side down. So I'm going to flip this over and place it in the tray. And then I want to make sure that the tray is set up on letter. over to make sure it's 
in place. These sheets are actually a little bit smaller than letter size, so I'm just going to slide this in so it goes in centered in the machine. So paper size is letter, and then the only option it gives me is plain paper, and that's fine. So I can just choose register, and now it's ready. So when I go back to my computer, send it to print, it'll be all ready to go. So now we're going to print. So I'll go up to file, down to print, and I'm going to use my Canon TS6000 PEXMA printer, and I'll open up preferences. When printing on the Caesar Easy Color, even though it's a vinyl, and, a, and an inkjet printable vinyl, it's still okay to just use the standard setting, plain paper, and I'm gonna increase the print quality to high. Maybe do a little testing to see what looks, how it looks for you. If you do a high quality, it may take a little bit longer to dry, and then the colors will be a little bit brighter after you apply it to your garment, after it's pressed on. It's a good idea if you want to make sure that all your images are gonna be within the margins, you can turn on print preview. Now I can go ahead and print. And then here's what the image is going to look like once it prints out. It's a good idea. It adds an extra minute or two to the printing process, but it's a really good idea when you're using specialty materials to do a print preview, just to make sure that somehow part of, you know, either the printer or the software isn't set to landscape or just to make sure it's all going to fit on and within the margins properly. And then we can click start printing. Alright, so it just finished printing. And that looks really good. Really, really good. This just looks so good. And now we can cut it out. Um, you can use scissors, I have fine pointed scissors, you can use X-Acto, uh, anything you want to use. Just make sure you cut out, cut through both layers, so the layer of vinyl and the backing. And I'm going to separate these first, just so it's a little easier to work with. So here I've cut out most of my pieces. It would be of course more efficient if I had a full sheet and they were all lined up properly and I had um, cut marks on the edges and then I could just line up and cut the whole sheet at once. Uh, but I was just using up space here. So here's an example. I have these cut out and then I would just cut out across these side again. Let's cut out our design. So I think I might use a combination of a couple of tools. Uh, for longer straight sides, you can use longer scissors. Uh, for smaller, curves and corners, you can use uh, smaller scissors, or for really, um, if you have maybe a couple of little points here, you can use an X-Acto just to cut those. And then when you're, uh, when you're cutting, you want to decide, do you want to have a little bit of a white border? Anything that is showing on here, it's not going to disappear. It'll still be white. So if you're putting on a white shirt, it's okay if there's a little bit of white showing. If you're putting on black, then you probably want to make sure that it all um, is cut right on the color. So now we can go back and double check. There's a little bit of white here. And it's this is just all your personal preference, how clean you want those edges to be. Now I'm going to assemble what I'm going to use as my hard heat proof surface for ironing. I'm preheating my iron right now and it's preheated to the 
a cotton linen like right in between there so it's kind of a medium high so I can use a couple books and then a towel then I have a metal cookie sheet that fits perfectly over those so this is nice and firm and then to protect my shirt and make sure it doesn't get too hot and that nothing comes through from the cookie sheet I'm going to cover it with some parchment and a Teflon sheet. Uh, so this is a lot of stuff. If you have another heat proof surface that you use, uh, that would work. You probably don't want to use like one of these. This is a Cricut easy press pad. Um, and the problem here is that if you press the iron on, it's going to sink in and then it will lift up. And so if you're going from place to place, you might uh, get wrinkles or uneven uh, presses. And then here's my shirt. You want to pre-press the shirt, so I'm just going to iron this out to smooth out any wrinkles. And then release any moisture that might be in the fabric. And you really only need to iron the place where the design's going to go. And then this is optional but recommended, um, a lint roller to pick up any lint. At least with this uh, Caesar Easy Color, you won't see it through like you would if you were doing like a, a light color transfer. Those are really bad. You really want to make sure you get the lint off for that. Here's our design. And then now we can carefully remove the vinyl from the backing. And because this area is more um, straight sided, I'm going to start on the side and kind of work my way this way. Actually separated nicely. Just whatever helps remove it. And then I'm gonna kind of do like we do for removing stuff from a mat. I'm gonna turn this over so I can hold my design flat and then carefully remove the backing from the vinyl. And hopefully that'll help prevent it from curling also. But just keep an eye out for when you get to a corner to make sure you don't pull. So I'm gonna work my way around this way. And now let's go ahead and apply it. So if you preheat, if you heat up your garment again, it's cooled down while I peel this off. But if you heat it up again, just warm it up a little bit, then the Caesar should relax a little bit if there was a corner you were worried about peeling up. So that's a little bit um, closer to the fabric. So we can kind of work on placement and see where you want it to be. So my my the pink box here is crooked and the text is straight. So that's what I want to align here is the text. And then this shirt is like a, a midriff, it's kind of short. And then also I might cut off the neck later. So I want to make sure that I leave plenty of space uh, if I want to do that. So usually you want to kind of center if it's a more narrow design, just kind of right along under the arms here. And then you have two choices. You can cover it with a Teflon sheet, which is going to give it more of a shiny finish, or I'm just going to use a parchment sheet today, and that will give it more of a, a matte finish. So I'm just going to place that on top, and then I'm going to start on one side, and you're going to press it for 15 seconds in the same spot. Lift and press. 15 seconds, lift and press, and then we'll check it. So that's 15 seconds over each spot. We're gonna carefully remove this and see how it looks. Okay, so there's a little bit of discoloring here. And then you can also see where my iron bits were. So I'm going to cover this and move it over a little bit and then turn my iron and press it in a different direction. And then I'll also try to keep the holes of the iron away from the image, or at least put it in a different spot. Let's 
do like seven seconds. And it says it's okay to hot peel, so that's why we're peeling it right now. And it's better. Some of these are gone, but there's still a couple more. Okay, that looks a lot better. So if you have some light colored spots, like I have this one here, this light colored spot, you can cover it with parchment and then just go in with the tip of your iron and just heat up that one spot for just a few seconds. And that will fix that. Take a look. So we wanna check the edges Make sure it's adhered really well. And that looks really cool. And nice and stretchy. So now I'm gonna use one of the labels that I made just to put a little label on the shirt because I decorated it. And just to show you how it works. So you just want to peel off the vinyl part from the backing again. And you're going to place it where you want it on your garment. You can put it up here by the tag. You can put it over the tag. You can put it on the bottom, on the inside of the shirt, wherever you want your garment to be. You can also create something, put it on the back here. Since I might trim off the neck of the shirt. I'm actually going to place it lower down here under this label. So I'm going to turn this inside out so it's easier to access. Okay, my design starts right here on the front, so it's okay if I iron right here. I'm going to pre-press on the iron. Place my label and since it's warm it just kind of melts the vinyl a little bit to relax so it stays nice and flat. If you have a mini press or you know like one of these you also use that too. Um, these are nice because they're completely flat and don't have any holes in the bottom. I'm just going to cover this up and then press for 15 seconds. Let it cool just a bit, if it's starting to stick to my parchment here. And now I have a label in my shirt. So you can test it, and it looks like the corner there might need a little more heat. So I'm going to cover it up and just press this edge again. All right, now we're all done. So we wanna wait 24 hours before it gets washed for the first time, uh, turn it inside out, hang to dry. Uh, if it does get wrinkled, you can just cover it back up with some parchment and then you can just smoothly just iron it out. Um, you don't have to actually press, but just, just give it a nice iron just so that the, the vinyl is protected from the direct heat source. And we're all set. Have you tried Caesar Easy Color DTV yet? Let me know of what project you're thinking about making or if you need any help. I'll be making more videos using this. Keep an eye out for those. I'm going to do some using my silhouette to cut it out. I have some on different uh, garments. I'm going to do one on uh, dark colored shirts, on a white shirt, on a towel, uh, just on a, one on a pillow. I'm going to do one showing how to use larger designs than the eight and a half by 11, um, how to piece them together. Uh, just all sorts of things, testing it out. Be sure to follow along with me, Little Gray Squirrel, where we have fun and make stuff.